I call the member for Penrith. Mr Speaker, I rise today to draw your attention to the community concerns for the safety of cyclists, pedestrians and motorists using Victoria Bridge. Constructed originally as a rail bridge and the first rail crossing of the Nepean River, Victoria Bridge has played an important role in the development of the electorate of Penrith due to its ability to link Emu Plains, Leonay and the Lowell Mountains with the Penrith city and its suburbs. Unfortunately, it now plays an important part in demonstrating how the Penrith region has been ignored and taken for granted for 15 years by Labor governments. After years of talk, the Penrith community have seen nothing. In fact, today we still don't have so much as a feasibility study investigating to what can be done to ensure the Victoria Bridge is safe for years to come. The people of Penrith are entitled to something more than endless spin and photo opportunities. With this in mind, I've set up an independent Victoria Bridge task force. The task force is comprised of members of the local community, cyclists, pedestrians, motorists, people with the motivation to get things done. The task force includes Joe Grassi, Dale Hartman, Jim Cuthill, Estelle Davis and Andrew Wheeler. They all give up their time voluntary and I thank them for their commitment. Their job is to hold both myself and the government to account. Anyone who's had the opportunity to cross the bridge will understand why thank local you. families are worried. The only space available to pedestrians, prams, bicycles is a small strip of concrete, about a metre, not even a metre and a half wide, with no dividing rail and literally no room for error. You can't even fit two people side by side on this bridge, let alone two prams passing each other. Any miscalculation on the part of anyone using the bridge has the potential to cause quite a serious accident. As Barry O'Farrell and I witnessed when crossing the bridge together in June, Yes, it's true. Well, because we were walking behind each other, absolutely. And when a runner jumped out into the, uh, and when a runner jumped out to get around us, because there wasn't any space, wasn't any space to get around. This, unfortunately, yeah, unfortunately, this um, this person put their life at risk by jumping into the traffic to get around us. And this is what runners do every day. I've met with this Victoria Bridge Task Force a number of times, and they're committed to seeing the government implement its promised feasibility study by the end of the year. Within hours of the New South Wales Liberals and Nationals committing to a feasibility study, we had the Roads Minister announcing a similar commitment from his government. I hope this wasn't cynical Labor politicking, but a genuine commitment to action. The task force is committing to seeing the government follow through with its by-election promise to take action, to create a feasibility study that actually explores different options for Victoria Bridge explores options of a cantilever on both the northern and southern sides, explores options of a bridge or a pedestrian bridge between the rail and road bridges, and also exploring whether the possibility of a standalone bridge is a suitable option for making this bridge safer. The task force is committed to seeing that government, this government make act, take action and follow through on that commitment. On behalf of the Victoria Bridge Task Force, I have written to the Minister for Roads and as of July the, minister, the Minister's office has acknowledged my letter, but there has been no further progress otherwise advised to me. I do look forward to his response. And I'd also like to draw on a letter from the Principal of McCarthy Catholic College, a former school of mine located in Emu Plains, who talks about the number of students that travel across Victoria Bridge and the safety concerns that she has for her students. The safety of McCarthy students on the bridge, both in the morning and in the afternoon, as they travel to school, is paramount to the community. A pedestrian and cycle access on the, is not safe on the bridge. This is a principle of a school acknowledging this. The pedestrian and cycle access is not safe on the bridge. The broader community needs alternative access over the bridge away from vehicle traffic. We desperately need an alternative or separate thoroughfare over the bridge, well away from vehicle traffic. And that is the plan of the feasibility study. The people of Penrith have been calling for action on Victoria Bridge. It is my intention to hold the government to account on its feasibility study and deliver a new bridge and work towards delivering a new bridge if the Liberals and Nationals are elected next year.